Okay. This message is for no for November 2020. It's for Scorpio. This is a love reading. Uh, I did a pre-shuffle, so let's get right to it. We're going to talk about the current state of your relationship. We got the Fool card. So, you know, this is, I feel like this is probably a new person, some kind of new relationship. You're uh, in that beginning stage where you have butterflies, or if this is a long-term partnership, there's been some sense of renewal uh, so that you're in, you're kind of like, I almost want to say like blindfolded to the realities of life. Like it's a very work-free relationship at the current moment. Uh, but let's keep going to see if there's anything going on behind the surface right in it. But the current state as it stands is that you're happy. Things are going well. Uh, albeit it, there is this feeling of naivety um, to this card a little bit. So let's see what your partner what your partner's current state, okay, they have the two of cups reversed. So you, yeah, so this makes more sense. So there is a little bit of naivety here. You're not really aware of why they're not completely content on the relationship dynamic between you two. You're not really aware, but they are. There's something not right here. What's going on with you? The two of wands in reverse. So you're kind of, you're, you're happy with how things currently are and you're not looking forward to the, you're not, not that you're not looking forward, but you're not making future plans with them or you're kind of, you're less worried about you know, things to come. And I feel like that might be the source of their discontent. They might be a little bit more forward thinking in terms of a long-term commitment or if you're already in a long-term commitment, just where the two of you will be going from here and they might have some plans that they want to get you on board with and you're not you're just kind of enjoying the moment and they're feeling uh not so great about that they kind of want you to meet them where they're at I'm not saying they should you know that's they should want that or that's a fair expectation but that seems to be what is going on there your desires again so you have the sun Scorpio is your desires you really want to live in this moment and enjoy the happiness that's going on right now especially it's been it's been a really hard year. So if you're going through, you know, a, a happy phase and things are kind of looking up, you're just relishing that and enjoying that. Whereas your partner, you know, they might be in a state where because of everything that's gone on in the past year, they're like, all right, well, you know, let's prepare ourselves so that if anything like this should ever happen again, I mean, you can't really prepare yourself for something like this year, <laughs> but it, they just, they feel as though lessons were learned and they kind of want to, make things a little bit tighter and say like in terms of your finances or something like that um they want to make things a little bit tighter going forward so that you're less likely to have your lives thrown upside down in the future but if this is someone new you know the other feeling i'm getting is that you know if you're kind of like just happy with this person and everything but i think they're they might be looking for a little bit more commitment or they're worried about where the two of you would stand as far as a long-term commitment as is concerned their desires they have the chariot okay so this could represent a cancer uh they they definitely again so this is like you're in this two two of wands reverse energy so like not looking for not looking to the future not kind of making future plans whereas the chariot is like they want to march into victory they want to really go forward like they're they're pushing for something that and you're that you're kind of blissfully unaware of i feel like they're dropping hints or they think they're dropping hints but it's not it's kind of like going right over your head let's see what your challenges are scorpio death reversed so death is your card, Scorpio, uh, but you have it in the reverse. So I think you're losing a little bit of your individuality, especially if this is like a new relationship. That's my dog whining in the background. Jesse, come here. Come here. Now take that as a sign if you want. But you're losing a little bit of your individuality. You're losing a little bit of your individuality in this relationship. So you really want to hold on to that because that might be what's giving you this kind of fog too that's uh, that's having the, their hints and everything kind of go right over your head their challenges ooh, a tower in reverse so this totally says to me they are trying so remember what i was saying about like you know learning from the past and like they want to prepare for the future so, give me one second 
See, told you, one second. Okay, so they have, you know, they might've been through like a divorce or something like that. They have been through a tower moment this year. And they are really trying to still reconcile what has happened or, you know, maybe not this year, but before they met you, they, you know, maybe they went through a divorce or a really bad breakup and they're, they just want to do everything. It's like this kind of like post-traumatic stress reaction where like, say they went through a divorce and now they met you and everything is good, but they're like, they're like ready to lock it down now or either that, or maybe they're afraid of commitment because they just, they don't want to go through whatever it was that they went through prior to this current happy state. That's why they're having a lot more trouble just kind of enjoying the moments with you right now. So let's see what your outcome is, Scorpio. Your outcome is the five of wands reversed. Okay, so you're going to get away with this without this conflict. You know, despite that you're not really kind of seeing where they're at, um, it's go well it's going to uh it's it's going to continue to kind of pass right over your head or you're kind of going to have this feeling about it like hey there was nothing i could do i was doing the right thing like you you feel pretty confident in in what you're bringing to the table and enjoying the current moment the only warning i will say is this death in reverse card that losing your individuality so you know you want to make sure that you know, no matter what happens that you know when if and when things are said and done that you know your entire life doesn't get wrapped up in, in this other person but i'm not saying that it's going to be done because the the five of wands in reverse suggests that you know this conflict will resolve itself so let's see what their outcome is the king of pentacles reversed so i'm I feel as though because of this wanting to protect themselves energy, it, it's going to backfire on them a little bit and make them, it, it's going to backfire on them and they're going to end up being the bad guy and you are going to walk away from them. I'm not saying you're going to walk away from this person, but when it's said and done, it's going to be clear who was doing the right thing here, Scorpio, and, it, and it's you. Let's look, I'm gonna do one more card to clarify the overall outcome. Usually I use an Oracle deck for this, but we're gonna just use the, uh, the Rider Waite deck. Let's look for one more outcome card. I, I feel as though it, there is going to be this turmoil, despite you really being happy and living in the moment, it's kind of more to do with your partner and they're gonna realize in the end that all they did with all this worrying is waste time and not enjoy the moments with you and you're gonna be the one that uh, comes out looking good. And the overall outcome is, okay, the four of cups in reverse, yes. So that just like further goes into what I was saying is like your partner is being offered this like blissful period right now and they're just, they're not accepting it and it's going to be a, continue to be a struggle for the rest of the month. They're not going to accept it um, until they learn their lesson. Uh, and it's, it's, but I, I I don't see them necessarily learning their lesson by the end of the month. I don't normally do this, but I want to pick one more card to look for the advice for you, Scorpio. All right, a few popped out here, right? So we got the Seven of Wands, the Devils. So this could be Capricorn. And... Um, the four of swords in reverse okay yeah so don't worry don't worry you are doing the right thing and enjoying this which is pretty much what i've been saying um the devil so this could indicate like you know if it gets to the point where they're really overbearing that's what you want to watch out for that's going to be that's going to be the make or break thing okay because as it stands it's just kind of like a, a a, I don't want to say like normal, but like a, a workable relationship scenario. Relationships have up and downs, but what you want to be careful of is it, if it comes into this like real, like if they become so controlling that it becomes an abusive scenario, you know, then, then you got to bail. Then you got to bail. Don't worry if they act weird because, you know, they do, a lot of this is coming from the fact that they want, they want to be with you and they want things to work out, but if it becomes too controlling, then you have to bail. And the uh, the four of swords in reverse. Um, 
choose your battles wisely. All right. Choose your battles wisely because the more you push, the more it could, you know, that you could play off each other's energy. Continue to do what you're doing. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the relationship. But also um, make time for yourself. Make time for the things that you want to continue to do. And if it becomes too much of an overbearing scenario, then, you know, then you, you need to bail. All right. So that is November 2020 for you, Scorpio. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what's, what's going on. If that applies, please subscribe and like. Thanks. Bye-bye.